Okay, we are doing a Thrive Market unboxing. I placed a huge order to Thrive this month, mostly because I haven't been placing any orders at all. I was on their auto ship program and then realized I wasn't updating it before I would get my next shipment. Had way too many different various bags of oats and things like that. So I paused that and I placed a big recent order because there are some things that are just flat out cheaper on Thrive and some things I can't find in my local grocery store that I really like on Thrive. So the whole purpose of this unboxing is to show you exactly what I got, the reasons why I got it, and I will share all of the totals in the description below. familiar with Thrive Market, think of it like a Costco where you pay an annual membership, but then in general, their cost per item is lower than what you could find at a normal retailer. So with Thrive Market, you can either do their auto ship program where you automatically get shipments sent to you each month and you get to tailor and customize what you want, or you can just order on an as need basis. Keep in mind that this entire um, purchase is meant to last me multiple months. I would never place this large of a Thrive Market order every single month. Our family's just not that big. Maybe yours is. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and dig in through these. I haven't opened them up yet, so this is in no particular order, but I wanted to share what we got. One thing I love about Thrive Market that is actually cheaper at Thrive than at my local Kroger are their organic nuts, and they're just higher quality. So these are just regular organic walnuts, but I've often found organic sprouted walnuts, which if you are conscientious about phytic acid and you want something that's a sprouted nut, so it's a little bit more uh, digestible, then they have that option as well. I'll toast them up with a little maple syrup and add them to salads. I'll use these in our homemade granola. Um, I'll use these in all kinds of ways. Uh, the other thing, speaking of which, that is cheaper, and I'm going to keep saying this throughout the video because if it wasn't cheaper on Thrive, then I wouldn't have bought it, but Olives, organic olives per jar are cheaper on Thrive Market than they were at my local Kroger, even just the basic Simple Truth organic ones. So I got, um, I think, three or four jars of olives. I don't know if you can see that. My favorite, and I can never pronounce this correctly, they're so good. And you can barely ever find them pitted. Nev no. Or organic. So, you know. so olives are on the list. Ooh, coconut oil. Okay, I love this brand because it comes in a slightly larger jar. This seems to be like the perfect amount that we'll use in about a six week time period. Um, I do get refined coconut oil just because I don't love the coconutty flavor in all my oils, especially when I'm cooking something savory. It says it has a neutral taste, but it doesn't say it's refined. I'm guessing that's what that means. But this is a great um, cooking oil. Uh, great for high heat, great for frying, great for baking, honestly. If you don't have butter, you just need to melt down some coconut oil. It's a great option. This one might be controversial because it's organic, but it's a prime example where organic does not mean healthy. And I in no way am saying that these are healthy, nutritious, nutrient-dense foods, but my kids do like to snack. And we do something called a Sabbath snack basket where we have special snacks that we have once a week on our Sabbath, which is like our rest day. And for that, I do like to treat my kids a little bit. So I did get a box of Z-Bars. Now, I say that they're not healthy because honestly they have, let's see here, 24 grams of carbohydrates per bar. They're pretty um, starchy and sugary. They taste great, I'm not gonna lie. And they do have organic ingredients, but they do still contain soy. So, you know, you just make your own decision. I see, okay, so they put perishable on this box and I was really, confused why because this is not the box I got my meat in they wrapped specifically the chocolate chips that I ordered um, in this little pouch with an ice pack in it that makes way more sense I got some organic dark chocolate chips these are like what I would call bougie chocolate chips. They're organic, they're dark chocolate, they're ethically sourced directly from farmers in Colombia. They have great ingredients. When I'm thinking of something I'm adding into already, like a treat food, like a cookie or a muffin or a loaf of bread, um, like a sweet bread, you know, I just do the best I can with what I have. I got two bags of organic 
pretzel chips. They're great because I can no longer find them at Kroger. Um, testing out a pimento cheese recipe, and so I wanted those to try them out with it. Joey and I do a lot of sourdough pizzas, and we have been trying to figure out the pizza sauce, tomato sauce. We've done a combo of make our own with fresh homegrown tomatoes. We've done making sauces from a canned tomato puree. We have just bought sauces. And this I found on Thrive, not an instance where it's cheaper, but something where I can't find it at my local grocer. It's basically just strained tomatoes, but they're from Italy and at the glass bottle. I don't know if it's just marketing, it won me over. I got two of these to test out. I will let you know if it's worth the hype. I wanna say this was like $7, so it's expensive. Oh, I got a third. Again, something that is cheaper on Thrive Market for the quality that I can find in my local Kroger are spices. And I compared every single spice. And I'm telling you, sometimes it was 20 cents difference. Sometimes it was a dollar different. And I wanted to try a few new ones. Ones that I already love that are tried and true are their organic seasoning, or sorry, their organic Italian seasoning. Like I said, we've been messing around with pizzas, trying to really perfect it. And I love having the organic Italian seasoning on there. I also got a lemon pepper zinger. It just says lemon pepper zing, but I like zinger better. A bold blackening, a ground cumin restock, another Italian, a chili powder, a smoky Cajun, which I'm excited for and a paprika. So I restocked on our spices. I will add those to my other spices that I already have. And I actually wish I got a garlic and onion powder because I didn't realize I was low on those. But the next item is another example of something that's not found very often. And when I say not very often, I mean never. Beef jerky is a great high protein packed snack that literally everyone in my family will eat, which is really rare, but it often has things like citric acid or natural flavors, which I'm not completely opposed to all the time. I'm not a purist by any means, but if I can find a product that is a little bit cleaner and I can do a little bit better, I'm going to try it out and see if it's worth the money. If it's not worth the money, I'm going to go with the best thing I can do for my budget and feel great about that. And there's nothing wrong with that. So by all means, don't take this as the only clean jerky brand, but I'm excited to try it for those very reasons because it is so incredibly clean. The ingredients in here are 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef, water, organic coconut sugar, smoked mortilla peppers, organic coconut vinegar, sea salt, organic garlic, organic matcha tea, organic ginger, and organic cardamom. That's it. Like, no liquid smoke, no natural flavors, no citric acid, no encapsulated... Um, oh, what's the ingredient that's in all of them? No encapsulated, I should look this up. I'll put it down below. Encapsulated citric acid, maybe something. Anyways, none of that in this. This brand is called Prevail. And I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not giving you a tasting review, but I did get two pouches to try. Excited about that. And we got um, some dry roasted peanuts. I'm gonna add these again to salads, sauces, I really like um, crushing up peanuts and adding them to like our, our um, cooked green bean dish to give a little crunch, a little something nutty and a little bit sweet. We can add it to all kinds of things. I can add this to my granola as well, along with the halved walnuts. Um, very versatile. Simple Mills almond flour dark chocolate bars. Okay, I bought these for a specific reason because I was comparing and the box is a little damaged. You will get that sometimes, but for me, I'm like, this is no big deal. I was comparing the nutrition label of these to the Z bars. And the thing I liked better is that this has 10 less grams of carbohydrates, which I'm not anti-carb by any means, but if there's something with a little bit less sugar or starch for my kids to snack on and a little bit higher protein, I'm gonna be excited about that. But if we can find things that are just a little bit better and they're still affordable, then we know we have multiple options and we know we can reach for something that's serving our family well, even when we are enjoying ourselves. Okay, we're almost done here. Um, the rest of this is some household staples and then some basic grains. The last bit of the Sabbath snack box is the Annie's Chex Mix again. Perfect example. Um, not the food that we consume every day, but I bought two boxes. I got some organic jasmine rice, which is I think a full dollar cheaper on Thrive Market than it was at Kroger. Rice is a perfect grain you can definitely buy in bulk. I actually had this conversation earlier on Instagram 
and it's definitely something I'm gonna look into because I think if I go to someplace like Azure Standard or even Costco, even though I don't currently hold a membership there, and I get organic rice, it might be cheaper, even though it's a little bit more of an upfront cost, which is kind of why I always stayed away from it. I was never really a bulk buyer. Cash flow wise, it just really wasn't in the cards for us. And then also we don't have a ton of storage space. So I was like, I, I don't know where I would put like big, big bins of grain. But as we start to get kind of more organized in our home, I think it might be worth even just one month saying, okay, I'm gonna get the 25 pound bag of rice and that should last us, I don't know, six months. And then they slowly kind of bulk buy that way. But for now, I did get this and I did compare this price to one on Azure Standard. And unless you're getting a 25 pound bag, it was still cheaper per pound on Thrive Market. But when you cross over that threshold of like really buying in bulk, you do save a little bit of money. And then I got some organic bread flour, which I use this basically just to feed my starter. I use a different type of flour for my bread and my all purpose flour for my other baked goods. But this is just really good cheap flour to feed my starter. It's really starchy, so my starter thrives on it. And honestly, if I'm gonna be feeding a starter and discarding any portion of it, meaning throwing it away or storing it in the fridge, I wanna save a little bit of money. Last thing I got, um, besides the additional two more bags of rice, was just a new shampoo and conditioner to try. Honestly, I will let you know if this performs at all because if it doesn't, it's not even worth sharing. But that is it, that is my entire Thrive Market order. I'm going to organize this and put it away and, um, finally have a stocked pantry.